I'm Lee Metcalf, I'm the Head of Operations for Retrievals East River. So the facility has been designed and built to receive and um, process four packages a day to, um, to the store. That, once we set off into active commissioning, we'll roughly do around one package a week while we actively commission the facility, but over the next 12 months we'll ramp that up to one package a day and then further ramp that up as other facilities come online. So first of all, this plant will accept waste from the pile, fuel, cladding, silo. Um, that'll be the first receipt which has come in today. Um, over the next few months so we're going to enable the waste from um, waste product encapsulation plant, um, so the W PET plant, which will be in a stillage form, which is four or five hundred litre drums in a stillage, and they'll then come into this facility at the turn of the financial year. As we then progress further down the line, we'll also accept waste from MSSS and our legacy ponds as well into this facility. I'm, I'm proud of what myself and the teams have achieved here to get this project over the line. I've seen this facility sit from a dormant stage from when it was um, originally halted. Now taking it into operations is almost like a lifelong journey for me while I've been at Sellafield for 20 years. So I'm most proud of how all the teams have worked together really, watching how all the different functions, all the challenges we've had. It's a new novel way of storing waste that we've brought in here. A lot of engagement with lots of external stakeholders, external parties to make this happen. So it's really a good accomplishment for Sellafield and all its supporting areas. My name is Amy Rance and I'm a nuclear operator on BEPSTIF. I've been on the BEPSTIF project for two and a half years, which is when I started at Sellafield. One of the biggest highlights of today that uh, we've been anticipating the most is getting our first box in actually taking the box out of the package and into the vault will be a huge achievement. It will be like placing the final piece of a jigsaw, but in actual fact it will only be the first step towards a bright future for BEPSTIF and Sellafield and the wider community. Going active feels like a big and new challenge. Um, it's what we've been preparing for, for Personally, for me, it's been two and a half years. Um, in actual fact, not a whole lot will change because in the ramp up to going live, we've been performing like we were, were active. I'm Alison Armott and I'm head of the Retrievals Value Stream. BEPS diff coming online is a really important milestone for the Retrievals Value Stream and for the site. The infrastructure is very important because it provides a route to safe and secure storage of the materials we'll retrieve from the legacy facilities. I'm particularly proud that this has come online because it now means we have the ability to continuously receive and store material from the legacy facilities. I'd really like to thank everybody who's been involved in getting us to this momentous day and look forward to the facility operating for decades to come.